Those unmanned spy planes that the military uses in Pakistan and Afghanistan and Iraq and Somalia and wherever else they don't tell us, the little drones, they could soon be used in the skies right here in the United States. The White House is expected to sign a new bill into law. It would clear the way for the testing and licensing of local drone aircraft by the year 2015. Listen to this. 30,000 drones could take to the skies by the end of the decade. That's according to federal estimates. There would be, they would be similar to the aircraft that the military has called a key terror fighting tool in Iraq and Afghanistan. Of course, privacy advocates are up in arms, saying they have serious questions about whether the government and other companies could potentially watch our every move. And, of course, they could. Catherine Herridge is live for us in D.C. What do we know about the information that they normally get and keep and transmit and all the rest? Well, thank you, Shepard. Uh, surveillance drones that are unarmed are typically used to establish a suspect's daily habits or what law enforcement calls a pattern of life, and the ACLU says this could be the ultimate invasion of your personal privacy. If our skies become full of surveillance drones, it's possible that from the moment that you walk out of your home in the morning until you return at night um, or enter another building, that your every movement will be tracked by this unseen eye in the sky. Some security experts say drone video is a lot like convenience store video in the sense that they don't stop a crime, but they can help track a suspect after the act takes place. And some people say this is very similar to what might happen here in the U.S., similar to what we saw by U.S. forces overseas. In Iraq, for instance, we use them to track down bomb factories. But in that case, you would basically backtrack uh, the people who emplaced the bomb to the factory that it came from. In any event, the ACLU says it has no problem, Shepard, if the government uses drones for natural disasters or if there's real evidence of a crime, but just collecting this data on a routine basis is not okay in their opinion, Shepard. What's Homeland Security saying about all this, Kat? Well, this is one of the most interesting elements of the story. The FAA is now being sued because the agency has refused to say who holds nearly 300 experimental certificates for drones. Asked if Homeland Security was expanding its use of drones beyond the border, this is the response we got. Well, I don't know the, the reports to which you refer, but right now we use and are using the UAVs along the borders, and they are a force multiplier for us. A Homeland Security spokesman did not elaborate on Napolitano's comments, but online we found these documents from Homeland Security's procurement office seeking industry input for a, quote, wide area aerial surveillance system, Shepard, that would be used over urban centers. Catherine Harridge in D.C. Catherine, thanks. Our You're legal welcome. panel is back. Former prosecutor Steve Razor. The criminal defense attorney, Randy Zellin. <laughs> 30,000 drones flying around up over there. Do you hear what the judge said right before he left? You know how big these drones are? The newest of these drones, they are this size, and they fly around like little hummingbirds. And up they'll be there. And if they want to, to watch you get out of the car, go to work, maybe go to your mistress's house, maybe drop by the bar and have a little cocktail before you head home and see the kitties. Later on, it's all available. Very minority report. It's an exciting mm. development in America, isn't it? Absolutely. And this is coming, and it's going to be here to stay. I can almost guarantee if oh, you look, I hate you. If we look at the I precedent, you, it's you're not my it. fault. I'd oh, love to make the decision. You seem giddy here. about it. Oh, I'm not giddy. I'm just. You're a lawyer. Of course you're giddy. <laughs> this makes for exciting stuff. Oh, I mean, come on, yeah, like you I'm said, thrilled. we're going to see this. We've seen movies about it. We, we've heard about it. We've, we've feared it, and it's here, and it's here to stay. The Supreme Court has already ruled in the Katz case. They talked about it in the Jones case. They talked about the fact that it's a matter of how much privacy are we giving up and what is the government gaining? In other words, is there a compelling state interest in viewing what they're viewing? The answer is not yet clear, but I when can do they guarantee get, wait, wait, you Wait, no, this. no, no, wait. Guarantee wait, you the Supreme Court I will you to wait. wait on this. I will wait. When, did they, when do they get to put the, the cameras in the bathroom? Because that, that's they what, are really going to need to make sure that everyone properly cleans themselves. Well, what are we doing? Do, Randy, where increase. does this end? You know, we see this stuff in the movies because it's entertaining. Minority Report style. We don't believe it to be real. It Life, is. liberty, the pursuit of happiness. Why don't they just stick the camera in me so then they can know every place that I go? What is going on here? At some point, you can't say it's not all about security because part of life is you don't know what's going to happen. And we shouldn't be forced to give up our First Amendment freedoms. For what? It's insane. It's frightening. It's scary. And I cringe the thought of what my kids are going to do. And I can't wait to hear that one crowd, the one crowd that hates government intervention, but they're going to love this because it's only really going to hurt the people who do bad things. 
You think video of you can't be misused? You seriously? You think it can't? <laughs> you just wait. This is going to open up a whole new can of whoop it. Aren't you ain't a criminal. It'll be flying around the red light cameras too. I mean, this is just a fact of life that we're going to have to accept. Now, wh where would they draw the line? Well, the Supreme I'm build Court. A cave. The Supreme Court drew the line at personal property. You cannot go into your personal property. Oh, cannot go into your car. Cannot that touch nice? your car. Cannot go into your house. Mm. Those are where the lines lie. And well, otherwise, great. we got to accept the fact that technology is changing. And now, instead of a simple red light camera at the corner to make sure nobody's going to make a, a right hand turn on red there's going to be a much bigger area two to four square miles that will be covered and this is something that we're going to need to continue to talk about the line cannot be crossed but where is that line going to be drawn that is the question that must be answered 10 seconds you ain't a criminal until you're convicted yeah you are less now. than 10 you are now Every step